what's going on everybody the wait is over at ios 18.5 public beta 1 is out now the update size is about almost 7 gigs as you can see but don't worry about that it is not going to take any excess storage on your iphone it is going to completely override the ios so don't worry about the storage now first thing first how you can install this update is quite simple for that you need to go to settings journal software update and over here you will see the update make sure you have selected ios 18 public beta in the beta updates now i'm not seeing this update because i am already on this update now ios 18.5 developer beta 2 is equal to the ios 18.5 public beta 1 basically both updates are same there is nothing different in both updates anyways it is finally over here so if you are public beta tester you can also try out this update if you want to now let's talk about what is new in this update now first thing first i'm going to show you the changes that are available over here so when you are into your mail app and tap on these three dots now you can change your contact photos right from here if you don't like these contact photos over here you can turn them off right here as you can see now this option was available there before but it was not in the mail app it was there in the settings but now it is also in the mail app you can do something like this to bring it back also the all mail filter is showing slightly over here if i bring my phone closer to the camera you can see over here there is a slight uh, view of all mail filter it is also a small change but it is there to show you that there are there is another option available and i think it's a small change and if you are using filters it can be useful change for you guys also when you go into the settings over here and maybe go into the apple care warranty now on the top there is a section that gives you information about this section now this was not there before it was there in the settings for different stuff like if i go to for the bluetooth there is details about the bluetooth but it was not there for the apple care and warranty but now with this update it is also there i don't know if this thing is useful or not but it is something that is over here and moving to the next thing there is a new splash screen for the apple news uh food section but unfortunately i cannot show you that food section is like apple news sports section is not available in my country apple bring back the recover all button in the beta 1 they removed that in the beta 2 so we can expect that that is not there so like nothing to talk about that now talk about the bug fixes apple are trying to fix a couple of bugs like apple Wear pro app was not working properly for some users it was giving a black screen when they download that from app store that is also fixed with this update but this is a small update so far i have tested on the developer beta 1 also the developer beta 2 and i can assure you the battery life of this update is really really good i already did a one day test video that is available on the channel in that video i also share the geekbuzz code so you can check out that overall these are the few things few small little changes that are here with the ios 18.5 public beta 1 and so far battery life is also nice and performance is also really really nice now a simple question if you are interested in this update yes you can install this update there are no issues going on so far but if you're on ios 18.4 you can also wait for the 18.4.1 because that update is also coming very very soon well this was just a small simple video and i hope you liked it and i hope to catch you guys in the next one until then take care peace out